Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to plant this blueberry plant. Fall is a great time for planting blueberries. They're going dormant. I put them in as late as January here in Maryland Zone 7 where we get freezing grounds and 20 degree nights freezing days. So fall is a good time for that. Blueberries like more acidic soil. So we're going to use white vinegar. That's a 5% solution. One cup or half a cup per gallon of water. That's to help bring down the pH level of your blueberry planting area, make it more acidic. We're also going to use peat moss. This is sphagnum peat moss. It has a higher acidity. And we're gonna use a water-soluble fertilizer at the end to water it in, to water in the plant. We're gonna plant this one right here that is more acidic. So you're really setting up the soil to be more acidic. Now that being said, I should say go and test your soil, see where the pH level is, but that's a pain in the butt for most people. This is not going to lower your pH so drastically that it causes problems, and I'll show you how to do it, not to affect the immediate root ball right there of the blueberry plant. So what we're doing is just going to bring the pH down to a more acidic level. That's what the blueberry, yeah, I don't know why I can't say that. That's what the blueberry plants prefer. Now these plants have been in here for three years. There's one right there, two, three, and four down there. They're not really thriving. I did not really focus on acidifying this area and taking care of it. Let me show you a space where I did that and then we'll come back and plant and I'll talk about ongoing care. This is my blueberry patch in my main garden. Bunch of plants down here. Now spacing wise real quick, you can do anywhere from three feet if you want a dense hedge like I do, this is a smaller space. I'm purposely putting them much more closely together, two or three feet. But if you want them to get to mature size, some of them will get really, really large like back there. You want four or five feet in between. Just depends on how much space you have. But this is planted to be a dense planting of blueberry bushes. So they've been managed using the sphagnum peat moss, um, some of the white vinegar, and the more acidic water soluble fertilizer and just look how beautiful they are these are even beat up by the cicadas this year and they're all coming back but you can see that bringing the ph down a bit really benefits your blueberry plants now that being said you're not going to use these techniques to go from like a 7.5 ph which is alkaline all the way down to a 5.5. That's not, just not gonna happen with the way I'm showing you how to use this. This is just gonna bring down the pH a bit, make the soil more acidic, maintain this area as a little bit more acidic over the years, and your blueberry plants will thrive. This is Willow, she's getting big. Just thought I'd give you a quick look <coughs> at how she's been growing. <coughs> Let's plant this one first, show you how to do that, and then I'll show you how to take care of the plants that are already established. So you're gonna dig a hole deep enough to plant your plant level to where it is in the container and maybe an inch circumference around there. That just fits in there nicely. Basic setup. All right, so the vinegar for a new plant, it is a half a cup to a cup of 5% white vinegar in a gallon of water. And what I do first is just soak in the planting hole. And I'm just using the vinegar to make this more acidic, decrease the alkalinity, and just something like that. Typically I would let the water drain through. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple shovelfuls of the peat moss. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. I think that I can. And I'm going to put a shovelful in there. Then I will mix it through, really loosen up the bottom, and then the rest of the soil is going to get a shovel across, a shovel across, and that's going to set up this area for the planting. At the end, I will be using the acidic water-soluble fertilizer that's made for acidic-loving plants. I mix the peat moss through the bottom of the soil, a couple inches, nice and loose, mixed it into there. Now, when I was pulling this out of the pot, and this has never happened before, you know, 25 plus plants, I pulled too hard and I actually broke off 
the plant right there from part of the root system. Now it should be okay because it's the fall. That's when you want to plant these. You want to plant them when they're going dormant. They're not going to need a lot of moisture. Water them in at the end and then maybe once a week if your soil seems to be drying out. But they're pretty much good to go. I'm going to bury this a little bit deeper than I would. Typically the soil will just come right to here. I'm going to mound it up a little bit so this plant can maybe send out some more roots, take care of itself. But it's well anchored to another root right here. It should be okay. So the plant will be dropped in here. I'm going to shut the camera off real quick. I needed two hands because I don't want to damage that anymore. So you can see the space around there. That is, you know, enough space for the new root systems to easily penetrate into that looser soil. But they would be perfectly fine going into, you know, something directly against the soil. Don't over worry about that. You can kind of break up the root ball a little bit if you want. And then just backfill. Get to fill up the hole well, pack it down, and take care of it that way. So we have the 5% white vinegar the acidic water soluble and the peat moss that we use to set up the plant. So this plant's almost done. It's all been backfilled. Throw two shovelfuls of peat moss around the base of the plant or so. Whoop. Something like that. And then you're gonna water it in. Just follow the water soluble instructions as written on the package going to clean off some of the peat on the leaves and you're going to put one gallon all around the surface and that will set your plant up and again it's the fall you know water this maybe once a week and that's all you do to get your blueberry plant well established for the spring all right let's go over to these guys. a little easier to see from this angle so four plants two or three shovelfuls of peat moss spread around the plant and then each plant's going to get one gallon of the vinegar the white vinegar so it's i'm going to use one cup per gallon of water this is the gallon this is actually you can see that it's blue this is the remains of the acidic water soluble it doesn't matter what order but it's going to be one gallon of the white vinegar spread around here and then one gallon of the water soluble fertilizer fertilizer spread around there too so it's getting two gallons of more acidic solution and that's all you really need to do these are already well established you don't have to water them in peat moss right on top vinegar right on top everything right on top will acidify the soil because this is a new planting hole I wanted to put the vinegar in before because I don't know what the pH is of what was, you know, surrounding the roots in the pot. Maybe it was already acidic, I don't know. But I don't want to pour vinegar right into that root ball. So I poured it in on the soil first, in a planting hole, and then I added the plant. That's the difference. I just wanted to make that clear. Come spring, I would just give it the water-soluble acidic fertilizer, a gallon or two each plant, really give it what it needs to grow and then let it go. Mid-season, somewhere around July, I give it that acidic water-soluble fertilizer again. If I don't like how the plants look, I will put down more peat moss like this. I don't really use the vinegar again, but for setting up the plant, like this one, or if after two years, the plants just don't look like they're thriving. Hope this helps. Definitely put your blueberries in in the fall. You want at least two different varieties for better pollination, better blueberry production. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.